In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the oil painting techniques of Francisco de Goya, one of Spain's greatest masters. To begin with, I want to talk about the palette. We're going to be detailing the colors that I'm going to be using. We have lead white, stack processed lead white, yellow ochre, raw sienna, red ochre, Italian raw umber, vine black, Prussian blue, which is a unique color to the 18th century, and vermilion of mercury. Towards the top layers, I'm going to add Naples yellow, but for now, in this initial layers, I'm not going to use any Naples yellow. I'm just going to stick with these basic colors. In terms of brushes, I'm going to be using a Polcat hairbrush, a mongoose hairbrush, bristle hairbrush. This is a traditional design. And I'm going to be using a sable brush. These are all historical brushes that, that Goya we have been using. And I have here an underdrawing that I did with vine charcoal. This is a freehand drawing with just a piece of vine charcoal, just to sketch in the basic forms. In some chemical analysis, Goya uses some uh, drawing, uh, transfer drawings. These are chemical analysis by El Prado Museum and other scientists that have done research on Goya. He uses an underdrawing in some of his paintings. And in some of his paintings, he just works directly with the brush, just by working perhaps with a bristle brush and just laying in the drawing. So I just wanted to sort of recreate a step-by-step -step process, a theoretical process of what he might be doing. I have here a sketched-in drawing. It could be transferred or it could be a very schematic vine charcoal drawing. And now I'm going to reinforce this drawing with black, diluted black, just to establish the overall composition. Let's talk a little bit about the ground. I use here a red ochre ground. This ground is composed of red lead, Spanish red ochre, a little bit of lead white, and a little bit of black. In terms of just apply the application of paint, this is a very straightforward sort of a la prima painting that I'm going to be doing and then retouching on top. So the first layer is just going to be, you know, just straight color. There's no grisaille layer here. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix the colors on the palette. First thing that I want to do is I want to just mix some basic flesh tones in preparation for the application of my first paint layers. I'm going to mix a little bit of lead white here. And I'm going to mix a little bit of black with the lead white just to create a grayish tone. This will be to neutralize some of my flesh tones. I see some use of black. And it will help me establish some basic values later on. So I'm using, it's important to mention that this lead white has been cut down with dolomite. This is consistent with what they find. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and bring a little bit of vermilion into that color just to get this nice neutral flesh tone mixed with the black. This will really help me. Immediately you get this beautiful flesh tone. This is consistent with what I see in the painting. Seems like there's this grayish color that he used. Grayish flesh tone. I'm going to bring a little bit more vermilion to get more paint. And I'm going to bring it into that flesh tone, the gray flesh tone. This is important because you want the flesh to stay cool. Once I have this, I'm going to go ahead and clean my palette knife and I'm ready to begin with my vine black. Let's just put a little bit of vine black right here.
If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to receive future notifications and look out for my live presentations every other Thursday where I do demonstrations and I talk about the materials. Make sure to check out my Udemy courses. If you're interested in classical drawing or oil painting techniques, you can find those in the description below.